Hey, I'm Mark Tillerson. In this series of videos, we're talking about Google Merchant Center errors and issues with data and getting disapprovals. In this particular video, we're talking about the missing value age group issue that we're seeing here. So what does that mean? What causes it? And how can we fix it? So let's just start with this particular example. So the first thing to say about this issue around the missing age group is that it only applies typically to products which are categorized in the Google product category clothing and accessories and then these subsections so effectively Google saying well I think this is you're declaring or we think this is a clothing product therefore we are expecting gender and age information maybe color things like those attributes we are expecting you haven't got them you should include them to make your data optimal now the first thing to identify with this is that in this particular data set the Google product category is not declared so Google in the absence of that category is basically saying well I'm going to decide for you and it has decided Decided in its infinite wisdom and power and knowledge of data I and mean, its ability to learn its human learning system is so amazing I'm being sarcastic here right Google's not that amazing okay this thinks that this thing called a TV screen bracket in the title it has decided is clothing and accessories so maybe it's deciding this picture looks like an arm warmer I don't know but anyway it's incorrectly categorized it and that's the problem with this particular example however what should happen is in your data because you are amazing and you do everything perfectly you will declare the correct Google product category for your products okay so if you are selling TV brackets like this site then you won't have them categorized as clothing accessories and therefore you won't get this issue however if you are selling clothes and you are seeing this missing value age group issue and it's telling you to add this attribute then basically the reason it's telling you to do that is because that attribute is missing it's not provided in the data so if you're selling clothing this video is for you if you're not selling clothing and you're getting this issue then it's most likely to be the solution is change your Google product categories go and set those in your data and you'll be fine if you need some help with that if you're stuck then comment or contact us via tillerson.co.uk and we'll try and help you out with that anyway if you are a clothing store a fashion store we work with lots of fashion stores loads of success and I've seen every issue under the Sun with um, Google Merchant Center and fashion products so let's assume this Google product category is correct and you're seeing this issue of missing data missing value age group okay so how do we fix that so let's just take a quick look at what Google tells us okay so if we look at the age group okay and what this is expecting okay so this is supported values so you have to declare a value called age group in that format basically looks like that so that's what should be in your feed provided by the API uploaded via supplemental feed however you're doing it that is the title the label and the values it's expecting one of these and you can't use others it has to be either newborn infant toddler kids adult those are the five options I think yep five options one two three four five use one of those five options and declare those in your data okay so the best place to do that remember how does your data get into Merchant Center ideally it should go something like this you have your e-commerce store you have a big database of products with titles and descriptions Google product categories price sale price all of those attributes and what you hopefully should have is a, an attribute in there in your data that says gender but also in this case age group if you don't the best solution is to add that data in that database and then make sure that data is then output in your XML feed or via the API that is then pulled into Merchant Center so your data is always correct in the original source now it's not always possible to do that I appreciate that okay so how do we then append amend augment or supplement that data from your feed and pull that into Merchant Center so the first way that you could do that is using some rules in Google Merchant Center so you can head into feeds and you can create a rule for each individual feed and then you could for example create a rule that says if you find the word infant in the title then set age group to infant if you find adult in the title then set age group to adult okay you might have a different way of maybe you've added custom labels or maybe your product types for example you've got product types of adult and infant and things like that you could then say if my product type is adult set this attribute to adult if my product type is infant then set this attribute to infant 
So you could use some rules. And what that's going to do is every time your feed is refreshed, say at two or three o'clock every morning, those rules will run, find that data and set these attributes for you. So that's the first way you could do it. There's a reason I don't recommend this and I'll come on to this a bit in a moment once I've explained the other options you've got. So we could do that with rules in Merchant Center to basically set that based on the existing data in your feed. And we can say, if that is there, then do this with it, okay? You have to look at your individual data to work out how to apply those rules. And you do have to have somewhere in your data that identifies it as adult or toddler or infant, etc. okay? The next way you could do it is with a supplemental feed. There is a video on both these methods, by the way, on our channel. So how to create a supplemental feed using Google Sheets, which is my preferred method, and how to use rules in Merchant Center are both available. I suggest you go and have a look at those. Again, not recommended to do it this way. Best method is to fix it in your original source data, okay? So you could add a supplemental feed. Effectively, you list the product IDs, you have a column called age group, and then you basically manually go through and go infant, infant, adult, adult, whatever, okay? And then that will supplement that data in your feed. So that's the other way you could do it. Neither of those methods, as I say, are recommended. And the reason I don't recommend them is that if you have data coming from your website and then you are supplementing it with more data using two different methods, sometimes it's rules, sometimes it's supplemental feed, maybe you're using one, maybe you're using the other. Number one, with the rules method, whatever rule you are using is dependent on your data. If that data coming from your website isn't correct or isn't quite formatted in the right way, or maybe you're looking for the word infant and it's not included in a title, then your rule isn't going to set the data and you're still going to have missing attributes. So there's an issue with that automation. It's dependent on humans putting data in in the right way. The second reason that I don't recommend those supplemental options, either of them, is if you were to fix the issue and include this new data, the age group attribute, in your original data and you now have a supplemental feed, this data is going to come through and it's nice and fresh and brilliant and all updated and perfect but it's then going to be overwritten by the stuff you did two months ago in your supplemental feed and you're not necessarily going to remember that so that's why I would always recommend if you have a problem in the future how are you going to troubleshoot it and solve it you're going to look at every individual product and you might have thousands if you're quite a big inventory so that means oh we've got a problem with the age group coming through this is ending up in the wrong place why is that doing let me look at the website with we'll a correctly. Let me look at the output feed. Well, that's sick. Well, what's going on? Why is it broken? Ah, oh, hang on a minute. Isn't there? Oh, there's a merchant center rule. Maybe it's that. Let me pick through all my rules to try and find out which rule is creating this data. No, no, maybe it's a supplemental feed. Maybe it's one of three or four supplemental feeds and you're going to get into a mess. The other reason that I don't recommend the supplemental feed option specifically is if you are updating your inventory regularly, that means we've now got a database full of products on your website that you're updating today and you've got a thousand products. So you go and create a Google Sheet with those thousand products in and you add the attributes and you set them all to infant and toddler and whatever. Okay, that's great. But then next week you get another hundred products. So they get added to your database and out they come in the feed. And now you've got more missing value age group problems. So now you've got to manually go and update your feed and add another hundred individual IDs and add manually. Is this infant? Is it adult? Is it everything else? And then in a month's time, you add another 500 products and you've got to append another 500 products to your supplemental feed. That's a headache. You don't really want to be doing that. And then you're going to get other issues where the products go out of stock that are in your, so products that are no longer in your feed are now in your supplemental feed. So then it's going to throw errors going. These 468 products you're adding attributes to, they don't exist in your feed. Ah! So it just gets into a mess. So that's why I would strongly recommend that you include the data in your original source. So whether you're using Magento, Magento 2, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, Shopify, or a custom site, ideally, you want this data included in the data source and then you don't have all these issues with this you know all of those that I kind of ranted about with all these problems of you know where is this data coming from how do I unpick this mess I've got myself into so that fundamentally is how you can fix the age group missing value and then get these kind of 100% approved in Google Merchant Center and then advertising more efficiently and effectively in Google Ads so I hope that's helped you out if it has please give me a thumbs up really appreciate that on the videos make sure you subscribe for more and if you are stuck you've got a different problem please 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 we love to hear from you please ask in the comments